Keyword extractor, what is this tool supposed to do? Well, first we need to understand that on Amazon, when a potential buyer is searching, they type in what is called a search term. And in this column, you will see those search terms. Now, the keyword that I am targeting with my campaign might not exactly be the same. That would only happen in an exact match. However, in certain campaigns, for example, in auto, phrase, or broad campaigns, I might be targeting something and the search term that my ad shows up for could be something different, a little bit different or even more so. When that happens and the tool Keyword Extractor recognizes with the data available that the given search term is converting, then it is going to suggest it to be extracted so that you can take it from these broader type of targeting types and put it into, for example, an exact match or even more than just that. And now target that search term now becoming a keyword as part of a campaign now target it more precisely. The campaign that we are extracting from would be called the source campaign or the ad group being the source ad group. The ad group that we are going to put this keyword into would be the target ad group or the campaign would be called the target campaign. These are important concepts to understand. This screen here is sorted by spend, ad spend specifically as you can see, but I could be sorting by other columns as well if I wanted to. Additionally, wherever you have a question mark, for example, all available data, you can find out more about that. Here you have a new feature because all available data I already covered in other video, show only new opportunity, new keywords. When you click on that, it will explain you that when this is enabled, this will only show search terms that are not targeted as exact match types on your entire account. Not phrase broad, it's only talking about exact match. This function will include archived and post keywords, which have converted for you in the past, but are not currently enabled. This could be useful when you just want to see what are the new opportunities that I am not already covering on my account. Then, similarly to other pages, of course, you have a settings, a cogwheel icon where you can adjust what is applicable to this specific tool. In this case, you only have keyword extractor settings for conversion limit. You can leave it at the default or as you progress as a seller, you might want to change this, but always keep in mind whatever you set this to, this is the account level setting that the tool is going to use. In the other video under ad settings, you can see how to adjust that for a product group or a given campaign if that needs to be. Besides the settings, it is also important to remember that similarly to all other pages, you have filters. And in this example, I am filtering for a specific campaign name, test, specific campaign names that include the word test. And you can see that the campaign showing up, test one, two, three, auto, includes that campaign name includes the word test. The way how I use this is that in my campaign names, I use the, the given ASIN that is being advertised or the main ASIN for dot, that product line or something like that. So every time on every tool, when I filter for a specific ASIN, I know I'm looking at all the campaigns that are advertising that product. And I also chose another filter, auto campaigns. And as you can see, all of these campaigns are auto campaigns here on this result page. Now the search terms that are suggested showing all available data, all the metrics, I could go through and decide which ones to add to my campaigns or maybe snooze with this button or ignore. If you haven't yet, you can watch the quick negative matcher video to see how these functions work. It's exactly the same throughout the software. Now I can look at the fact that this search term got 15 clicks, four conversions, I say, wow, this is great. Let's extract that. 
but down here for example one click two conversions i might say you know that could be just luck and i don't really know if this is going to work for me or not and let's say snooze it for a week i could do that too now going back to the original our original main page i also want to point out that besides sorting as we did here with the ad spend we can also change the date range seven days same results however different metrics because obviously now we are looking at only the metrics and the statistics that came in over the past seven days then if you see set targets that means that this campaign here hasn't been connected yet this auto campaign in this example as you can see it here or this phrase campaign here set targets haven't been connected to keyword extractor yet when you click that button then you're going to be pulled onto the next window where you can set that connection where you see the add keywords button that means that the connection to keyword extractor was already done already set and the software knows where to take the search term from turn it into a keyword what kind of match type and in what target campaign it is going to go into later we will go over that one more time but right now let's look at set targets when you click that this is the window you're going to see here actually this should say connect only campaigns that have a single match type in the campaign not all only a single keyword extractor is going to work best if you follow follow that structure one ad group per campaign one match type per campaign now here you can see that once you type then the search to search the ad groups the software will help you and show you the different options that already exit on your account and you can pick now if you're not certain what does it want me to do with the broad group phrase group exact group then just explore those question marks when you do so here for example it explains you that when we are extracting something from this given campaign it is going to be put into the ad group that you choose here as a phrase match while also negative ex exact matching it so that when you extract it as an exact match into your exact campaign as well the two campaigns don't do the same job or same work it also tells you that this is optional all of these choices are optional if you only want to set a target ad group but one ad group per campaign so that's going to be the same as the target campaign and you want to only extract things as exact match then only type this and leave the rest empty also if you need to edit this anytime in the future you come back to this same page through add settings that video shows you there clear groups and reset choose something else maybe the target campaign has been archived since and now you have to choose a new one something like that make sure to confirm and that they save all the changes that you make at the end here negative match in source ad group this is specifically negative exact match that means once you extract it from that source ad group and source campaign do you want the software to negative exact match it always in that campaign now where we extract it from or never or take a look at what is being extracted compare the ACOS achieved on that specific search term to your target ACOS for that type of product product group or campaign and only if this ACOS is very bad do you want the software to negative exact match it so for example you are extracting a good keyword from auto campaign however the ACOS is horrible in that auto campaign keyword is office chair amazing converts a lot but the ACOS is 500 percent in that auto campaign so if you choose this the software is going to look at the fact that for office chair you wanted 30 percent ACOS 500 is obviously way too bad negative match it in this exact campaign extract it to for, for example the exact group that you chose put it there as an exact match so now you can achieve a way better ACOS because now you can precisely target that given keyword that's the concept now as I mentioned everywhere where you already see the button add keywords that means you already set 
and to set the target campaign and told the software what to do. In that case, this little icon here is going to give you a drop down menu and remind you what your settings actually are in case you want to review it anytime in the future. Here is an example. As I mentioned, I include the ASIN in my campaign name. You can see that all these campaigns here have the same ASIN. You can also see that the source keyword is in the phrase campaign, starts with in something, and it produces the search term. It's almost like the phrase match has a baby now, and the search term has converted, let's say, two times out of 22 clicks, all that in seven days, by the way, might have done this a lot more over 30 days, for example, because it was not applied before. So the software reminds you, if you click Add Keywords, the software is going to take this search term and turn it into a keyword, same wording, same characters here, and put it as an exact match in the exact group, as a phrase match in the phrase group, while also negative exact matching. That's part of how we suggest the structure so that the two campaign doesn't do the same job. And similarly, as a broad match into broad match campaign, while negative phrase matching there, same reason so that the broad campaign doesn't do the same job as the phrase campaign, also tells you what the bids will be that the software is suggesting based on the already existing performance data. And you can also edit these if you don't like them and reminds you that the reason why these are going to be added to all those is because this specific keyword right now it's only a search term but it's going to become a keyword it doesn't exist in that target campaign yet let's say that there is a suggestion that already exists in that target campaign or some of it what you are going to see is going to be a little bit different the software is going to strike through and show the suggestion in red where already exists in target campaign that status is enabled or status is you know whatever it is it's it's basically just going to tell you why it is not going to do this step that you already told it to do before it is telling you hey according to your setting to for this product group with this asin all these campaigns here with the same asin i'm supposed to add it as an exact match however it's already there I, I'm not going to be able to do it again. Amazon doesn't let me. Broad, same. The negative exact match in broad also already exists. I can't add it again. However, you also want me to negative exact match in the source campaign. You see it's coming from an auto campaign. So in this auto campaign, I can still negative exact match it if you click this button. So out of all these steps that you originally told the software to do every time you click this button for this campaign, it is basically telling you, I can only do this last step. But just go ahead, click the button, and I will get that done. And just to remind you, on this example, I'm looking at seven days. Some of these have no performance data. That is because the performance data is probably older, and I should be looking at a different time frame, and then I would be able to see why this suggestion is showing up. That will do it for this video.